Well, welcome to Valley. Thought I played this a good change of pace. Nice, nice change of pace. Everyone loves a good change of pace. Do you? I do. I do. I know that much. Is a uh, sprint inversion. Wait, what? That that was a thing. <sighs> That new? Ugh, that's where my finger hurts. It's louder than I thought it was. This game has some problems with sound options. Look, it's, it's video. I beat the video game. I got all the achievements, uh, but I'm not gonna do 100% run because I don't care. This game is one of those games where getting 100% isn't that interesting. It's not as, as, as rewarding. You get nothing for it except the, the, the warm, fuzzy feeling in your chest when you when, when you beat an egg beater with an egg beater. Which is a minimally expressive feeling. <laughs> Man, I'm so sniffly. I shouldn't be going out into the wilds like this. Do you know what they say? Why is this loading taking so long? Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting Canoe! down... The, what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey... If by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. I fucking told you, it sounds weird. I hate these games. I don't care about what the... violates the law of not playing loud noises before offering you the chance to turn it down. Wow, this is still super loud. To me, at least. There we go. Let's move on. You want to do this with the contro controller because of reasons. These are ruins, not ruins. Oh, my nose! Oh, it's now inverted, so I now always run. It's gonna be slightly unsatisfying. You got. <coughs> you got I don't wanna run <coughs> on your main blade through the whole time, because it's, it's not useful to stand still. No, not to run. Walking down the street! What an exciting video game! I can look up! Wow! This bird! Wow! I mean, I understand having to set things up, but on the same note, you kind of want to start off... Like, it's, it's the same with Dungeons and Dragons. You don't want to start off in a place where people just meander about a bit. Let them get accustomed, and then immediately kick them into the action. Oh, look, it's this floating goo. It's goo. I'm going to spoil the shit for you right out of the bat. Those are eggs. So when they say, you will give me an egg, they mean those little blue bubbles. And you want to know what, 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 what kind of eggs? They're eggs for these boys. These boys are the main enemies of the game. They're also the main fucking mascot of the game, so there you go. Does this place. It's a valley, of course. This is why we went here. The funny thing is, you mentioned hitting your head, but the, don't think it's ever established you hit your head. You just kind of wash ashore. Pretty sure you were dead. Maybe not, I don't know. Also, there's a lot of this going on, which I don't think that's how flora works. Look at that red tree. That's a nice red tree. An old army truck. This is the only crate that works like this. Wow. They actually, it stays open because of uh, the way the animations work out. So you might be asking, why does the animation work out like that? Because it's already offset. It doesn't account for that. It just carries out the usual transformations without giving a shit. I mean, I like this, but it doesn't carry the same charm that Bioshock did. Something about it's just a little too far. Oh, 
pretty sure we weren't fighting there. Or your mark, at least. I gotta say that last part's a little bit out of out of whack. I mean, it looks cool. It looks like something you'd see at a furry convention. Don't forget that you signed away your rights when you signed up for the fucking treatment. Now I can jump! I can press A to jump. I already did that. Thank you, video game. Virginia King. Audio Journal. June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was <coughs> by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life ceased, where to possess an earth shattering power was found. <sighs> Wee! Wee! How exciting! You kind of always want to go downhill. I mean, you can only go downhill for so long. They're going uphill again, but also don't fall in the water. It's dangerous. You are not a waterproof boy. There we go, now we get to do this. And for our triple troubles, we get acorns. Thank you, I don't care. You don't need that many acorns, but you can pick them up anyway! We're low on energy. Where will I get this energy from? Going back to life, Bambi! Sorry, I had to ruin the move for saving Bambi. Pathfinder access only. Well, that's rude. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> And then I coughed and said, Oh. <sighs> My nose. I can also drain these. Like, as long as your cursor. Oh, I can't drain yet. No, you can also drain orbs, but you can't do that quite yet. Ah, oh, man. My nose is acting up like crazy. Ah. Woo. Woo. Woo, man, my nose. <laughs> this is a chest. A medallion! They're used for an endgame thing. And you get a... I think you get the infinite double jump from it. Thank you! Ah, my nose. Why is it acting up? I hate it when my nose decides to be like, Ah, ha, ha you're sniffly, but I'm not going to sneeze! God damn it, nose! This wasn't the deal. <laughs> eh. Oink. Eh. Cause I believe I can fall and hit the ground, cause that's how gravity works! Hi, gravity! Now, here's something I'm gonna wanna do. Eh. I mean, I'm not interested in doing 100%, but it doesn't mean I don't wanna try and get as much as I can. I'm not gonna get the, the second door, you can figure it out probably if people are like, super interested. I'll probably do a thing with that. Oh man. Uh one thing I don't like about acorns, they take a minute to hit the ground. To kinda of stand there like an ass with your fingers up your nose and you're like, man. What's with these video games? Can I observe no I can't. Acorn My boy. Thank you. Was there something over here? Or wasn't it somewhere later? God damn it, I don't have notes. Maybe it was down here, there was a chest, I don't know. I'm looking like the bare minimum I can care to do. 
I got an acorn or two. I'm a woodland critter. Oink, oink. That's what the woodland critters do. It's kind of where you don't get the power to take life immediately. The game expects you to do that on, like, living things. There's no reason to ever do it on living things. Thank you. I think that's everything I can bother to pick up right now. Why do you get upgrades? The game is so coy with upgrades. It, it doesn't feel like you're getting that many. It doesn't really have the Metroidvania system behind it either, so... Yes, there are upgrades, but no, you don't give it a shit. For the majority of the time, they're just not that relevant. They show up when they're useful, and that's kind of it. And then it's like, oh, you can go back and pick up a couple extra things if you really want to. It gives you, like, there's so many there's left in this level, but I'm like, come on. Is that relevant? They make it a little bit more... A little bit more appealing. Because it, it really it really doesn't doesn't do what it needs to do. Now, my warning, why is so much shit around her dead? It's kind of... It's kind of weird. So now, this blue means you can take it. Die! And now live. Thank you. You open good for your demonstrative purposes. Boink. Now here's the fun thing. You don't have to touch the orbs. You can just absorb them from a distance. That's really useful. I don't know if you can acorn spam trees. Let's see. Nope. I guess it only works once. There's a lot of things you can take energy from. A lot of things you can give her energy to. Basically anything. Provided it's big enough to absorb. There's a tree! That tree is a key. You shoot the tree, you get the key. So you can kill these little boys. BAM! Well, a happy little boy. That's a good boy. How exciting. These are energy upgrades. They're basically hard containers, but unlike actual Legend of Zelda, they're worthless. Notes from a Pathfinder, man. I wonder who else would put these fucking notes here. We got an Now, there's something else about this game. Can we do this right now, or do I have to come back later with the double jump? I don't know. Hope I don't, because this is uh, kind of stuff I want to show off and then just never come back to. Okay, I think I can do this if I just realign my chakras accordingly. No, if I can stand on this rock, if I can, if I can wiggle onto it, I can do this. I just need to believe. I need to believe. Believe in the power of video games, kids. Come on, you can do this. I can do this. Yeah. Uppa. So, uh, there's like... <sighs> there's a whole bunch of these throughout the game. There, uh, where's the Slenderman page? There's a bunch of these. Slenderman page. I think there's one per level. That's it. That's all there is to see. Um, you pick them up and you're like, ooh, spooky! At least I found it spooky the first time I saw one. So, this whole part, you think you just skip it? No, we need to get all of them. Okay, whatever. I never really try that. We gotta go around here and gotta pick up the things. Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins with soldiers piloting leaf seeds. They call these soldiers pathfinders as they can track your terrain normally. I'm pretty sure pathfinders are already copyrighted by someone. Just saying, those people <coughs> in the 1940s might get in some trouble. Until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I wonder why. This game also has a lot of points where it's dark for no good reason. It's just like dark. I want a lot. No, it's dark. No light source for you. No, come on, man. Gee, Willikers, Batman. I just want to see. Medallion. And some corns. Woo, we've already got five. Bada boop. Now I'm falling down a hill. Is that the level? Because if that's the level. Uh, I think it is. I mean, you can go fast, and it certainly makes you a hard to hit target. But pretty sure that if you're running straight at something, they're going to notice you. And with the amount of stomping this thing does, you're going to be heard. Yeah, we're in the Shurshish Valley. 
Man, with names like Wendigo Lake, this place pure is full of happy go lucky fun times. Next time, more. Their life, their Amrita, their eggs. Oh, I forgot, you can actually... Oh, that's pretty weird. So the eggs respawn for no good reason. Next time, as I said, more of the video game. I, I, I just wanted to do something else. This is not going to be a long series, because cause, cause of video games. Don't forget, it's, it's the water, because like, you really can't touch the water in general. You get too close and your character... No, I'm dead! It's like, it's only ankle deep. I'm dead! All this water is eating me alive! Please!